Hello guys and welcome to the new video. Today I'm going to teach you how to draw backgrounds. So many people want to draw the best and I really want to help. I mean, I'm not a professional artist, but I know how to draw many of the things. Well, first let's begin like this. Let's use purple sky since I used... Okay, make sure to use digital pen okay we got that and color the sky make sure that it's not the darkest because you will see in the future okay you did that then slowly go into the lighter color then choose airbrush normal and choose number well at least that is big so you can it can be big as you want you don't have to choose the correct number i use i use it because i love bigger pictures and this is just a tutorial to show you more so first you draw this glow then go a little more lighter make it smaller a bit then we got this Okay, so this is one part that you did. Okay, you just add a little blue, but that's not a real thing I want. Okay, you can add pinkish because pink is lighter than purple. But make sure that it's not too small because... Okay, you did that and then just do white just make it a little lighter you got the lights okay so you did this it's not hard it's easy everyone can do that only they have to wish for it and they will do it okay I'm just adding this because I didn't add it but you can use any color just make sure to go from the darker to the lightest until it's white because white is the main color of the light then use smudge and make sure that it's on the biggest because you don't want to do just like these little details you want to do a lot from one so easily just go like this so yeah that's how you get it Okay, so it looks like a light at most of the points. Okay, you did this, then add a layer and go here and use darker. And also use digital pen again. Just a little bigger so you can make ground. Big as you want. And it has to be darker ground because Sky can be lighty, but ground can't. That's the reason why, why am I doing like this. And this is easy tutorial, so usually the real arts, if you want, you can do it for hours and hours. This is just a little tutorial to show you how. But I'm still going to add the similar details I, I always do, so don't, don't worry, it will be all fine. <laughs> okay, now when we did this, we get another layer and use this thing, purple, and make a lake with it. Okay, you did. Then copy this layer and duplicate layer. Then use this and perspective form. Then make sure that it's like this. Like it's in the ground. Like you see it in the ground. Because you actually see it. Okay, so you did this. Then use magic wand. 
go in the selection layer, invert it, then go here and take I'll show you like this and the layer you want in the water stays then remove this and put this here like at 50% 50% is enough for the water like then then make it <sighs> I just forgot the word never mind you did this okay now if you want you can do this but it is really cool you make it look like a real lake so just easily put some of the blur on the end so you won't get any pixel problems with that stuff that's way how I edit I always put use this and never mess up with the water just let it be like this because this is the real thing okay when you do that go on this layer and repeat the thing with this because the ground is not like a drawing okay so you after you did this you're ready for the details and that stuff okay so you go on next layer put a new layer and then choose I'm gonna go for the custom because custom has a uh, this uh, how do you say it history of the thing you used so go like this and make sure that you like it's a little lighter okay this is great oh and now I have to do this because layer then uh, I will show you what I actually want to do so you invert it like this back to my gallery if you want to turn on the that stuff then add it again and turn it again like this and you will not have problems with grass and that stuff also I will teach you how to make a grass reflection in water that's something really confusing sometimes so you n basically need a little of a time Just make sure to not add too much because not every grass is everywhere so yeah I always add a grass because it makes it lively then use all of the kind of grasses you have here because why not I mean it's cool you make your art more realistic it's good that Ibis actually allows you to have this grass because it will be pain to draw that I think that grass takes about 10 hours to draw if you want entire this ground to be realistic this is just shortening the time okay now go here and take the previous brush you did that goose grass and do like this okay so as you see I inverted then I turn it around and then easily like this okay I messed up something okay here we go Okay, now make sure that is 50 and go to the lake layer and this. So you see, it's a reflection of water and it won't bother you. Of course, you can add it more, much more times. As well, don't, me, don't you actually use only ibis to draw like this. It can be really bad. So sometimes it is best that you use your own art style because that makes the creativity so go deep pen hard that's my favorite so you can go use any and draw like this so 
So this is one of them, and this is one, one, and one. Okay, so I did this, then a little darker. If you want, you don't have to do. It's your own creativity how to make a flower like this. This looks stupid right now, but trust me, you will see. Now, I'm using this and airbrush, normal. That's all you need. So make sure to add like this. Maybe a little lighter because, you know. So do like this, then easily put like this 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 and this and also make sure to use here and here now you will see what I actually am planning now take dip pen hard again make it small and use dark darker color to make it look like flower more looks like a rose but it doesn't matter it can look like any flower just make sure that it is flower then you can use blur I usually do that because sometimes colors don't stand me As you did, you see in the far, you can actually see that it is really beautiful. Now make sure that you add a little things like what this flower should have. And you got a flower. Now take airbrush. It's not for shading, it's for Okay, so you did this and go like this. The airbrush is just going to make it realistic a bit. But of course, not always realistic. Okay, then we can do it like many times. But the thing is, we want it to look like it's growing like this. Now you did a great job. Now copy this make sure that you invert it then make it look a little smaller smaller and maybe you could use uh, like this and you got this now merge and copy again and repeat the thing several times until you get the bunch of flowers and make sure to invert it every time because it can cause problems sometimes make sure it is big and it doesn't interrupt a lot okay now merge that and copy again and then you will make it uh, like this what I'm actually trying to do is that make sure that flowers can grow like this okay so this makes it like a real flower branch now you did this copy it and place it somewhere else because flowers don't grow don't grow only in one place You can actually make another duplicate and even place it to be like a bigger group so it makes it look more colorful and again copy I mean I'm going to copy a lot of times because I really want to make sure that drawing is good 
Even if it's for tutorial, I still love to make a new background like this. So it's understandable that I actually am like this. Okay, now putting this here and voila. Now merge that all together to do anything special. Okay, now you did this. Now you add a new layer and take take a glowing weight. You need the sparkles, glitters, whatever it said. And sorry if the screen is going to be like different. It is because uh, drawing is not uh, it's not easy for me to draw like uh, when you have a uh, Horizontal, uh, so I usually don't use that. I draw like this. Okay, I found it. Glitters, but dot. You need dots. I'll make sure to have a glowy color because that's where the stars come to life. Okay, you made sure that you actually have a new layer. And you make it look really magic. It is... It is real magic to actually make stars like this. And this is kind of a romantic. I think I will go <laughs> I'm going to use this in the Alpha's Resistance to troll people into shipping. Okay, now when you did this, <laughs> after, make sure that you add also white stars because there is no point in that. Now, go in this layer, make a new layer, and make like this, look like this, so like stars. And make it transparent, and merge it. And you get this, this like water. Now, you're not only going to have something like this, so you add yellow as well. Why yellow, you ask? Well, yellow for fire, it can be anything. Also make sure that fairies are everywhere because they are. They're not going to be like on one place. Also for the better magic and better fun, you add green. Because those are fireflies and that makes it real art magic. Okay, after adding that detail, you go in the layer, this layer, and make a new one. Then go and take a... Okay. You can use this one. It's great. Okay, so now put it like this. And make sure that you have made it right because that adds the details to the entire thing but that's not all you have to do you also should do other colors like a little pinkish to make details and don't forget to add black because black is going to give the details of light and now purple which is going to give blue effects And now black. Don't worry, black is not to destroy it all, but to make it contrastable. Now, you should erase that what is flying because dots of ground don't fly. Okay, now you did this. Did it. Okay, now when you're done. Make a new layer, but this time, and wait, use well called airbrush, normal again. Okay, airbrush normal, make it a little big, and take it a light pink color, gentle, baby pink, and make flowers like they're glowing. 
that's gonna make ground more magical. Also, if you want, you can add clouds, but I'm gonna leave it like this. It is beautiful. But maybe at a point you should add like this because darkness is always around. So yeah. Like this and I'm going to put it under the stars like this so it would look ever and that's all for today's video I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you're going to learn how to draw this it is just an easy example it takes not much time so see you later and make sure to like comment and subscribe to my channel see ya